can. Thank you. The in statistical inference measurements are made on a blank and are in generalizations are made to a blank. Good. So anyone would like to, yes. Sorry. I guess uh, measurements are made on a sample. And Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we are trying to do with the point estimate, with the interval, and with test of hypothesis. Good. Who would like to, I have to plug in my laptop. Who would like to continue? One, yes, thank you, Mani. A blink is a procedure for testing a claim about a property of a population hypothesis test. Thank you. Well done. Anyone would like to try this one? I can do it. Okay. Um, typically, the idea of blank hypothesis is that of no effect, no difference, or no change be null? Correct. That's what it is. No change. The claim is the alternative. Great. Great job. Can I do this one again? Yes. In hypothesis testing, the null hypothesis is best described by which of the following statements? Um, it would be A. Now, hypothesis always gets the benefit of the doubt and is assumed to be true throughout the hypothesis testing procedure. Correct. Any questions so far, anyone? No. Okay. Anyone I haven't heard from, please. Thank you, go. Thank you, Sasha. No problem. When a person stands trial for murder, the jury is instructed to assume that the defendant is innocent. Is this claim of innocence an example of a null hypothesis, or is it an example of an alternative hypothesis? I can answer this one. You okay. I think it's a, a null hypothesis because it gets the benefit of the doubt. So Good. it's assumed to be false until the evidence can be can prove otherwise. So, did I, did I say that right? So, it, it is an null hypothesis. It assumed to be true until evidence can prove otherwise. Oh, 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 oh okay. Sorry. Right? Yeah. Assumed to be true. Sorry. Yes. Yes. So, we have to assume that the person is innocent and they have the benefit, uh, not the benefit, they, they have to prove otherwise. Good. And this is the way it is done. So tests of hypothesis are not only on, you know, population uh, mean or there are a lot of other tests of hypothesis. Good. Anyone I haven't heard from, please? Yeah, I can read this one. Thank you. When in the criminal court a defendant is found not guilty, is the court saying with certainty that he or she is innocent? Explain. So remember, we don't accept anything. We can only say... From this sample, this is my conclusion. But if I select a different sample, I may get a different conclusion. So nothing is carved in stone. We can only say from the data coming from this sample that I have in front of me, this is my conclusion. I would say A. Okay. So no, the court is only saying that there is not enough evidence to show guilt. That's exactly it. Okay? It doesn't mean that the person is not guilty. It only says there is not enough evidence to conclude otherwise. Good. Very good. Next. Anyone? I'll read it. Thank you. Determine whether the statement is... Ooh, sorry. Determine whether the statement below is shown below is true or false. Okay. So it's false, rewrite the rewrite. Oh my goodness. If 
it is false. Rewrite is a tree. Yeah, it has an error. It's a typo. You're right. Rewrite it. Jeez. As a true well, statement, you are it. you are correct. You are correct. They are wrong. Rewrite it as a true statement. Not rewrite is as a true statement. Correct. Okay. I mean, I thought I was <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you were correct. If you want to support the claim, write it as your null hypothesis. Okay, choose the correct answer below. So if you, oh, this is the sentence. If you want to support a claim, write it as your null hypothesis. The statement is false. If you want to support a claim, write it as your alternative hypothesis. So the claim is the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis is no change. Nothing has changed from the past. I claim that there is some change, increase, decrease, or different. So I have to state it as an alternative hypothesis. If I want to support a claim, write as your null. No. The null hypothesis is the status quo, in other words, what is present. So the statement is false. If you want to support a claim, write it as your alternative. Good. Typically the direction. Who would like to try this one? I can do it. Thank you. Greater than, less than, or not equal to sign is used in the alternative hypothesis. Absolutely. The null hypothesis only has equal symbol. Correct. The null alternative hypothesis are deter determined before or after the data are collected. Before? They have to be stated before we collect the sample. Absolutely. We said that, that those are the three steps. Claim, sample, conclusion. So the null and the alternative are determined, are stated before we collect the sample. Correct. Very good. Okay. So the null alternative hypothesis are given. So sigma equals 2, sigma does not equal 2. What type of test is this? Is it a right-tailed test? Is it a... Um, two tail test is it a left tail test? Anyone? Left. Right. Okay, so let's go back. This is, this is very important to understand. If it's greater than, it's the upper tail test. If it's lower than, it's the left tail test. If it's not equal to, let me write it here. So this is like P greater than 0.02. This is like P less than 0.02 because I have that example on the next. And this is like P not equal to 0.02. Greater, less than, not equal to. So... What do we choose? Two tails. Yes. Is that clear? Yes. Thank you. Good. Next one. What parameter is being tested? Population standard deviation, population proportion, population mean. The standard deviation. Of course, which we will not look at. We will only look at proportions and means. Very good. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. Good. Okay. Who would like to start this one? Now they're going specifically to um, construct the test. So this is very important. I can read this one. Okay. Cadmium, a heavy metal, is toxic to animals. Mushrooms, however, are able to absorb and accumulate cadmium at high concentrations. Some governments have a safety limit for cadmium in dry vegetables at 0.8 parts per million. A hypothesis test is to be performed to determine whether mean cadmium level in a certain mushroom is greater than the government's recommended limit. Okay, Please so this is a key word right here. 
this one. I'm trying to highlight it. I can't highlight it. <laughs> okay, so so let me um, first of all we have 0 0.8. So let me stop sharing. So we have the null hypothesis and we have the alternative hypothesis. And that was oh sorry, I didn't mean to let me go back. So it's mu. Good. So mu equals 0 0.8. This is from the previous study or from history. Study and so on and so forth. Okay? So the keyword here is greater, which means this. When you see the word the keyword greater, of course you have still have to read the problem carefully. This is what it means. That's my claim or our claim. So this was initially, this was this is the limit established from history, from a study, from so on and so forth. But I claim now, I tell you, I think that it has increased. So, or it is greater these days. The word greater means the mu is greater than this number. So, we choose what from here? So this is the null hypothesis. What do I choose? Which symbol? The greater than symbol. Careful, because it's, the, it's, it's tricky, right? So this is the null okay. hypothesis. So the null hypothesis always has equal. And now the alternative, you're right, the alternative will have the same thing, but greater than 0 0.0. 0.8. Classify the hypothesis test as two tail test, left tail test, right tail test. Would this be right tail? Excellent, because it's greater than. Great job. Okay, so now let's read this one. So, Ethan. Are you with us, Mike, Alex? I haven't heard from you. Mike, Ethan, Evan, Alex? I'm here. Thank you. So let's give it a shot. I'll help. Ready? Thank you. The mean, the mean lab, the imprisonment for motor vehicle death offender in this country is 22.5 months. Okay. Uh, hypothesis test is to be for problem to determine whenever the mean length of the imprisonment for motor vehicle death uh, offenders. offenders. Yep. In the city, differ from the national means of 22 per 5 months. Excellent. Here are the keywords. That's That tells us everything. So now let's look. We have so many different options from A to F. Is it F? Is it difference mean not equal? Exactly. Exactly. It doesn't say it's higher. It doesn't say it's lower. It just says it's not equal. It differs. So which one? You say F. F as in Frank. Very good. Awesome. I can. I have to have for the null hypothesis. I have to have the equal symbol. This one is disqualified. This one is disqualified. This one is disqualified from the beginning. Now we're looking at these three, but this is a left tail test, which means lower. This is a right tail test, which is which means greater, but the keyword is differs. So this is what we need to choose. Thank you. Well done. So this means that the actual always equal? Yes, the null hypothesis is always equal. No change, no difference, all the same. Yes.
Which of the following is the correct classification of the hypothesis test? Is this to tell? Exactly. Very good. Awesome. Good. Moving on. So now let's talk about the type 1 error and type 2 error. Identify the two types of incorrect decisions. For each incorrect decision, what symbol is used to represent the probability of making that type of error? Because we have alpha and beta. So let's read this one. Evan, are you with us? I can read it again if you want. Thank you. Identify the two types of incorrect decisions in the hypothesis test. For each incorrect decision, what symbol is used to represent the probability of making that type of error? Okay. So always remember we are not accepting anything. When you see the word accept, you have to move on. The word accept has nothing to do with hypothesis testing. We're not accepting anything. So... Obviously, since you just said we're not accepting anything, it's not A or B, and then when we went over it, I would pick C. Type, type 1. Rejecting a true null hypothesis, which is uh, alpha, and then type 2 is not rejecting a false hypothesis, which is beta. Great job. Moving on. Excellent. Good. Okay, so since Evan is not with us, is Ethan with us? Ethan, are you with us? Okay, Mike, would you like to try this one? Mike? Uh, reading the question? Sure, yes, and I'll help you. Sure, let's discuss it. I just want to hear from everyone. I don't expect anyone to understand this 100% from the first 20 minutes. I just want to discuss the topics with everyone. According, according to a report, the mean of monthly cell phone bills was $48.99 three years ago. A researcher suspects that the mean of monthly cell phone bills is higher today. Good. So this is the keyword that you have to look at, and everyone has to look at right away. And this is three years ago, which has to go in here, 48.99 and 48.99. Good. So now, also the null hypothesis is called H1. Same thing. See, they're throwing this at us, but it's the same thing with the alternative. H, a, H sub A or H sub 1 is the same thing. It's a different notation. Determine the null and the alternative hypothesis. So let's do that. So first of all, it says the mean. We're not talking about proportions. We're talking about mean. So I have to select from here the mean. Which one? Which symbol is that? First, second, or third? First one. Of course. Well, now what symbol I have to choose for the null hypothesis? Always and forever. Equal. Excellent. So now this is indeed the same thing. If I have here mu, I cannot have here proportions, right? But what symbol do I select now? Greater than. Greater than. That's it. Awesome. Good. So now we have to explain. So let's think about it. So if we reject the null, null hypothesis and that is true, we will consider that the mean is higher, but actually it's not higher, right? So rejecting the null hypothesis, which says this is the mean, 48.99, rejecting this, we will conclude that it's greater, the mean now is greater, but that will be incorrect. So explain what it would mean to make a type 1 error. What do you think, anyone? You said B as in boy? Yes. The sample evidence led the researcher to believe the mean of the monthly cell phone bills is higher, when in fact, 
the mean of the bill is this correct so we rejected something that was true we thought it was higher but actually we were wrong it was this good excellent Explain what it would mean to make a type 2 error. A type 2 error would mean that we fail to reject this. We, see, we think it's this, but actually it's higher. So we fail to reject a null hypothesis that is false. We'll say we don't reject this. We fail to reject this, but actually this is false, and it should we should reject it. That's beta. Which one? 